Hey, my name is Jacob. Uh, this is the barn. I have two previous videos that I'm going to link up here. This is a 200 year old barn that we're restoring, and by we, I mean my dad is restoring it. I'm just here to take the videos, and I want to give you guys a tour. It's a 60 by 40 hand hewn timber frame barn from 1830 to 1850. It's been about one year since we've put a video out about the barn and a lot has changed inside. I want to show you guys everything. Let's go take a look. One of the first things here that's important to note is that this barn uh, did not have a basement before. This was a timber barn held up on a rock wall that was about four feet tall. That rock wall has since fallen over and there was scaffolding supporting this side of the barn, the south side, for nearly 10 years. After that, we dug down. You can see that in the first video. This barn's been dug down about six to 10 feet. I don't know, it's something like a 10 or 11 foot ceiling now. Poured a concrete pad, put foundation all the way around, and then built these two ramps, one in the front, one in the back framed around the existing barn. So the inside looks exactly the same, but the outside was sheathed with plywood. Then they put what's called a balloon frame, just a additional frame on the outside, filled it with insulation, and then painted it. New windows, new doors, and of course, the ramp, garage door in the basement. There's also this 10 foot addition, that's gonna be a commercial kitchen. We'll go over that later. But looking back a little bit, there's this metal roof, which is about 30 years old, and then the cupola, which is about 15 years old. Uh, my father rebuilt these when I was a kid. Start from the top and worked our way down. Yeah, let's go look inside. The foundation walls are product called Nudura, it's styrofoam with hard plastic in it. Clip them together like Legos and then from there uh, fill them with concrete. And then as a mason, obviously, he's built this beautiful, beautiful retaining wall and this arch as well as this cobblestone path all the way down into the barn. Up here you see all these holes. These are for can lights that are in the future, gonna shine down and illuminate the barn at night. Okay, here's, here's the basement. From some of the last videos that you've seen, uh, there was a excavator with a tractor over here sliding in these steel beams. These are 50 foot long steel beams in the center and from when they were tearing up the old floorboard to putting in the steel decking he has since doubled the amount of steel in here so that we can park many a tractor up top. Of recent this has been spray foamed so that it's a little warmer in here. It sits around 45 degrees in the dead of winter. Great for tool storage, great for keeping the equipment inside. There's also a big commercial cooler that is 30 by 30. This is where we store the apples during apple season and then park more equipment in the off season. There's tons of PEX tubing going throughout this barn. It is not hooked up yet, but there will be a boiler. If you look right here, there's an exhaust vent coming out of this retaining wall. And a boiler will go further down here. We can build a little half wall and that'll be a utility room. Okay. So, it's like eight feet high at the tip of my fingers. This is probably where the dirt was before. We built the south wall first, dug this out, dug out the north wall where the addition is. So the barn was free floating on the steel beams with 10 feet of additional beam and then the foundation wall. Then we dug out and poured the west wall and the east wall. 
It included those ramps so that people could come up them and the equipment would be able to drive up, no problem. Everything's wired up with Romex. This has 400 amp service, I believe. Um, 200 to here, and then 200 going all the way up to the apple cart. Big year for the barn. A lot of work. Chief has been doing this all by himself. Uh, having some of the guys give him a hand when he can, but yeah, this is a gigantic project to, to take on by yourself. And he's done a great job. It looks beautiful. All right, let's keep let's keep going. Yeah, here's the cooler, two giant coolers or condensers. Keeps it around 35 here. It's January 9th, and the apples are still great. Um, cooler's not on anymore, but yeah, 40 degrees. Oh yeah. Here you go. Got the DeWalt wall, charging up the batteries, organized the tools. This is the original vise that was upstairs. So directly above the tractor was the old workbench. That vise came with the barn when my grandparents purchased it in the 60s. The neighbor took it after the sale and brought it back to his house and then my grandfather went and got it back and said nope you sold me the barn you sell me everything in it so that's that more tools more tools over here is the cub if anybody can see this yeah this is last week's video this is the cub that we're working on on the east ramp so you know, the roof comes down from about 15 feet to 10. And this also came with the farm back in 1963. Now, this is a 51, so a guy owned it before, but he left it when he sold it, and now it's time to give it some love. And the motor just went out to the shop today. You'll see a video in a couple of weeks of me sandblasting all these parts and painting them. By a couple of weeks, I mean probably in like May. There's a people door right here. With nice granite steps coming up to the front. And then where that truck is parked is normally where the apple cart is. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, let's talk about supports, right? Because 50 foot steel beams, it's huge. That's a huge span, okay? And that's a lot of weight up there. You know, you've got all this steel decking and then you've got all of the concrete, which is the new, the new flooring for the barn. And you need to be able to drive tractor trailers through here to drop off equipment, drop off supplies, put your tractors up there for peace of mind and to make sure that you never have to do this again. Double up on the steel and now, engineering wise, you could, you could put 10 Abrams tanks on this upper level and it would be supported. I think the failing feature would be the, would be the wall. And even then, that's easier to shore up than it is to redo the floor. There's a total of three, two or three supports, right? One over here, and ah, four supports. Three more here. Four. And these supports are just right in the middle. They will take this weight all day. Five. This tractor needs some love. This is a 2008 John Deere. She's spent her entire life outside. It's time to bring it in, fix what needs fixing, which isn't much, and just shine it up. You know, equipment that lives outside has a hard life, and yeah, why well, leave it outside if you don't have to? This is the farm in the winter. The apple carts over there, 
hanging out. That's normally in the front. All the steel walls are down. The roofing, really. And then the, the donut trailer's all closed up. Chief's out there somewhere pruning apples right now. We'll go up and we'll get a video of that. She's all insulated now. There's, there's no heat upstairs, but it's warm enough. There's a bunch of tools around and it's kind of a mess because I'm trying to put these new doors in and boy, they look good. New barn doors, exteriors completely redone and the interiors completely preserved. You can see in these black panels right over here, there's two of them. These are where holes were. Or either we were flying in steel or the pumper so that we could get the decking down. And black plywood with rock wool. Two by sixes and then T111 on the outside. There's room in between for all these electrical outlets. These are wired every two or three feet. And then this giant box for the garage door. Everything else in the barn is exactly the same. Last time you saw Chief up here, he was looking over at the cupola, which is still about 25 or 30 feet up, but he was looking straight down into the basement and this floor didn't exist before. My camera was set up over here. This is where we pulled up all the old deck boards. This is now stamped and colored concrete. It looks just like wood floor. There's a little bit of a pattern to it, but geez, can't beat it. What a good luck. Oh, let's go over here. It's dark and I don't have power to it other than my flashlight on my phone, but this will be the new commercial kitchen to make donuts and pies and everything else. Uh, all your steel appliances will go on this side, the exhaust vent through the roof, and then that will be the path to go down to the basement. Soon to be cut out. That's everything. What's the plan for in here? I'll show you guys a video of during the season, this place gets lined with all this nice lighting and pumpkins go up everywhere. And it's just a good place for customers to come and get out of the wind, enjoy some apple cider and donuts and yeah. Still a lot to be done in here, but at least it's inside and it can stay like this for another 50 years if it had to. This is so stupid. Why am I crouched down like this? I could just find a taller tripod. Anyways, this barn was wavy as the ocean and was sinking on the south side. So we had all these jacks underneath these posts and jacked them up with a 20 ton screw jack. I think they're all in the basement now. And using steel cables and come alongs, we pulled this barn about 18 inches north and jacked it up about six inches on the south side. So everything's square enough for hand hewn timbers and it's level. From there, we slid steel plates on top of the I beam that were the correct height, screwed the timber to it, laid down the steel decking, and then poured around it. So none of this wood is touching, none of this wood is touching the, oh, that frame, am I? I'll just show you. There you get the gist of it. Wooden post sitting on steel post, concrete board around it. There you go. Okay, I'm freezing. I want to eat my apple. It's been in my pocket this whole time. Yeah. This is the barn. Almost done. It'll always almost be done, but at least it's good now.
Damn, that's a good apple, even though it's January. That still tastes fantastic. All right, we're gonna go find Chief. He's pruning somewhere. I'm gonna teach you how to prune. See you in the next one.